I'm Curtis Cooksey from Acceleration Kart Racing here to tell you about some Micron temperature sensors. I've got some cylinder head temp sensors here, water temp sensors here, EGT sensors over here. On the cylinder head temp sensors, there's two sizes. There's a 10 mil, 14 mil. There's two types. There's the short one that connects to an extension. And then there's the long ones that connect directly to your Micron. Now the 10 millimeter sensors, uh, cylinder head temp sensors are good for a GXH 50 engine. And the 14 millimeter cylinder head temp sensors are good for KA100, uh, rocks, any air cooled motor. You can use them on water cooled motors too, but they fit your standard spark plugs like your BR9EGs, BR9EVs, B10s. Uh, anyway, this is the standard size for most engines. This is a standard spark plug. Use it on uh, the L0206 also. And water temp sensors. These um, you can screw directly into a Rotax or a uh, X30. The Rock engine doesn't have one. Most water cooled engines, you'll need the inline water temp sensor adapter. And then they, you just cut your water line right after the head and you screw this thing right into it. Piece of cake. Uh, these are just some of the extensions. Uh, there are, there's a yellow extension for the 1T, a black extension for the 1T, and then we have the 2T. There's the 2T that has a black connector and a yellow connector, and then there's the 2T with the two yellow connectors. Uh, this is the RPM sensor. Every Micron comes with an RPM sensor, piece of cake to install. You just click, clip this to the RPM wire that goes to your spark plug and run this through your gauge. Um, this is the X30 pipe. It's got a fitting for the EGT sensor. This is the CIK approved EGT sensor. So it's a piece of cake to install. It doesn't come drilled, so you would have to drill the center out, but all you have to do to install this is drill the center out and screw it on. We love these. They're really durable and easy to install. Um, some engines might not have that. You can drill a hole, have somebody weld this bung in and install it just like you can on the pipes that already have it. And then there's also a five millimeter. This is your standard EGT sensor. This is all we had for a long time. And you screw, you weld this bung on and then you can screw this sensor in. This works great too. Um, and that's about it for sensors. Uh, I think we've kind of covered the basics. There are some engines uh, that m these might not fit on, but these fit on 99% of the cart engines out there. And if you have a question which sensors you need for which engine, feel free to call us. But we tried to kind of go over the basics. So uh, the water temp sensors for obviously water-cooled engines, and then the EGTs, you typically don't use that to monitor the temperature of the engine. EGTs are used to tune an engine. Um, if you're not worried about the temperature of your engine, you just want to tune your engine, you could just use an EGT, but most people that use EGTs are using the 2T microns. So they usually have a cylinder head temp sensor and an EGT or a water temp sensor and an EGT. Although there are some people brave enough to just use EGTs because really, uh, the mixture of the motor is what you use to keep your temperature where it needs to be, especially on an air-cooled motor. Water-cooled motor, not so much, but, uh, you know, if you're brave, you could just use an EGT on an air-cooled engine. Anyway, that's, that's the temperature sensors. If you have questions, give us a call, but uh, thanks for watching.